YouTube, what's going on? What's going on with y'all out there? This is Rob with another video, and I am showing you another tutorial on how to make money online. Now, we used Canva before. I gave you an example of how to design a book cover. This could be the same concept, but we're going to do a logo right here. So, I'm logged in here on Canva. And I'm going to click on create a design and a drop down box will pop up and just scroll down until you see logo. Click logo. And this is pretty cool, guys. This has so many opportunities. That's it's endless. Now, one thing that you will need if you want to have access to all the the designs and templates all of the templates you need to get Canva Pro I have a free version until someone wants something um, significantly crazy or different that I can't find on here I will consider getting a pro version now these are some of the logos right here that pops up you could type in a topic of the industry that you are creating a logo for and we're just going to scroll here and we're just going to click right here on the dragon. And I'm going to show you how to edit this to your liking. Let's just say uh, you want to keep the dragon and you want to keep the shield. You just want to change the font. Strike Elite Gaming. You want to change this to, let's say they gave you the name of. I'm going to use my last name, Steel Incorporated, Steel Inc. Gaming. That's simple. It's simple how you changed it. You just double click on it. I'm going to double click on it again. And then you can backspace and enter your letters. Or, you know, you could also highlight it. And then you go here and then you choose you choose what font that you want to use um okay let's use p sans and see how it changes your font it's kind of a bold font i like it and you also i'm gonna double click on this again i'm gonna highlight it there's a thing called positioning say you have you want to overlap your pictures you want to overlap your font on top of something or you want to have part of your picture in front of the font you can do that as well and you just click on position and in the actual do you want to bring it to the top middle bottom or forward or backward see backward will put it a little bit behind here I'm gonna click on backward So you don't really see a change because it's under the low it's under the shield so you can't see a difference but if the picture was right here in a, in a way you could move it forward or backwards by using the position tool so I'm gonna click on that again I'm gonna highlight it and let's change let's change the color text color you can change it that simple but you want to add shadow behind it you could do effects you could curve your words uh splice echo these are different types of uh i like to use lift these are different type of fonts font effects and you can see you might can barely see it but you see how it has a little shadow behind it as if the words are standing up off the logo a little bit so let's say they want this you just made 40 to 50 bucks that fast now another tip is don't be worried about pricing of course you want to build your clientele have fair pricing if someone wants something they will pay for it don't be afraid of that that's something i had to learn as a creator is not to be afraid of charging a decent price that will pay me don't be afraid to do that now another tip is 
Hold on, I'm gonna click off of that. Now another tip is charge thirty to fifty percent up front for your design after you show them all your examples. Make it known like, hey, I am gonna charge you this. That lets you know that they are serious because they want to pay you up front. The reason you ask for money up front is to keep from getting cheated out of a free logo or free design. I had it happen one time, and that was one time too many. I designed something for somebody, I brought it to them, and they presented me a $5 bill, and I charged way more than that. So you know how that conversation went. Charge up front, and then you charge the other half once it's done. Put a watermark across it. That way, once you receive your full payment, you can take the watermark off of it. This ensures that you get paid for your work and your time. Let me know what you guys think. I will bring you another tutorial. And like, comment, share, subscribe to this. And I will be bringing you another video soon. We're going to do a t-shirt design next. This is going to be fun, guys. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace.